Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up Sublime Text on Windows so you can compile, build, well, compile and build, I guess, same thing, compile and run C files. So, to do it, it's pretty simple. Make sure you got Sublime Text installed. If you haven't, all you got to do is open up a web browser. Anyone is fine. Google Sublime Text. I'll provide a link in the description to everything you will need. Open that up, click download for Windows, and just open up the du, 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 du. and there we go. Okay, so just open it up. Click yes, if that pops up, and I thought I had mine because I've already got it, so you're just overwriting it. Let's go make sure. So, yeah, mine was installed somewhere else, so I'll overwrite it in the same place just to make sure it was installed over here. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll just leave it as it is. So yeah, you just click next, install, that's fine. Once you've installed it, open up Sublime Text, and in here, let's put some C code. So go to, to our web browser. We're gonna type in C, hello world sample. Go to the programis.com website, and on here, just grab this bit of code, and da -da -da -da, put it here. It's just generic, you know, C code, control S. And I'm going to save you on the desktop. I'm going to create a folder. Click create new folder button. Did I click it? Let's have a look. Sublime seems to not want to work properly. There we go. If I rename that, name that to test app. There we go. And in here is where we will save that file. So control S, desktop, test app, and we're gonna name it main.c. He has to have the .c extension. The actual name itself isn't as important. And now we can run. To run, you go to tools, build system, C single file, and that's set the build system. But now you need to go to build with, you can choose build, if you just choose build, it won't actually run it. So do build with, single file run, and there you go. It says hello world. If you want that down a new line, just have to you know put a end line new line character. You can you know feel free to look into that or watch my videos where I'll cover all of that good stuff. Okay, so one last thing I want to cover. You're basically done now, but this is really only doing the core C. If you want any really new features of C, some people will, some people won't, you'll need to implement a new build system. To do that, go to build system, new build system, and get rid of what's by default here. I will provide a link, not a link, I'll provide this in the description. So you can just copy and paste it. So just copy this. It just allows you to use C17, which is, as of now, the latest version. If a new version comes out, just chain that to like 19, for example, or you know, whatever the new version is. And paste that in, control S. This will automatically want you to do it in packages user. That's fine. You want to have the extension dot sublime dash build. Apart from that, you can name it what you want. I'm gonna call it C17 just so I know what it is. Click save and there we go. I can close that down. Go to tools, build system, C17, and tools, build with, C17 run. There we go. Obviously, this application runs no different, but if you was using a newer feature from something like C17, and you try to use it or run it on the original single file, the C single file build system, it would give you an error. But with this, it wouldn't. So that's it. Simple enough. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description and there's a bunch of programming channels with over three and a half thousand members on there with two to three hundred members active at any given time. So 
yeah, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching and bye bye.